Hey everyone, Kane here and in this video we're gonna talk about Power Prize fight once more and honestly I have done a video on it but that was quite a while ago and we're gonna touch on uh, I guess all the features now that you can do a uh, reset in terms of uh, the event uh, prior to it as well as a few precautions to take so you would need to either waste a few hours or mess up your own formation. So first things first, we're gonna want to click on the, uh, I guess, current power or so, uh, what's it called here, and then we're gonna check what features we have. So we have true power. This has to be zero. Basically, we have to remove all of the army in here. I accidentally recruited that, uh, I think, a few minutes ago. And I didn't really want to remove my tier 19 skeletons for PvP, so I had to leave them in here. After that, we have hero power. Now, this power is mainly just because of the levels. So, what do you need to do? I basically have a set strictly made for heroes not having any equipment, for heroes not having any prisms. And that is good because if you have an event like this, you're not going to keep removing all of your stuff to just then, I don't know, put it on them, take like a few hours or whatever. And as you can see, they instantly changed by like 350,000. So do keep that in mind. That is going to save you a lot of time if you have an empty set made for just a power prize fight. So after that, we have garrison. So uh, I have recruited half of my garrison with tier 19 skeletons. And the only thing that's left of that is four skeletons because I have war in my realm. So basically you can just dismiss this entire wall defense that you can see here. And of course, if you have enough resources, you can just literally recruit your entire wall defense for the event. And if uh, I do remember correctly, it will turn to like five million current power four and a half for almost a entire wall defense so do keep in mind if you have like a ton of resources that is a, a pretty huge uh, power that you are able to receive uh, after that dragon and draconic power so that one is pretty easy. We have to uh, hatch and put in a lair a level 1 dragon with no abilities level, with no draconic done and stuff like that. And after that, we go to our main dragon and just deploy it. Instant 1000 power. So that one was pretty self-explanatory and easy. Then Hero Mastery. Now this one is a little bit trickier. What you would have to do is... Uh, one moment, uh, personally, I just took a picture of all of these, um, what heroes I use for each circle. Basically, I have like these by memory of my DPS, but I don't really have by memory the protective, the divine, or the command. Basically, I just did that and swap them, uh, rather swap them here and there. Uh, in case I swap something in my formation, and if I would forget, that could actually reduce some effectiveness on my field so i prefer not to uh you know have those mistakes so i just take a picture of all of these and when redoing i just uh look at the pictures and select the heroes that i had other than that you just select the stuff that you want or you require just that one little thing can save you hours of time and perhaps some uh i guess uh, less head scratches or stuff that you uh did that kind of is make you uh i guess lose pvp and, and stuff like that until you figure it out again so i always try to avoid that stuff now relic power you cannot really reset uh you can swap to some stales which you haven't upgraded i think but those have to be upgraded like long time ago and that's only like 200 000 power or, or whatever or a bit more if you saved it from a really really long time ago now the other is potential the thing about this is you can reset it so for example at least one of them so i have let's say valerie and valerie's uh let's say potential is a hundred thousand power so if i would reset this 
it would enter 20 day cooldown and then I would you know work out like a hundred thousand power but then again if um, an opportunity or the need would appear I wouldn't really have this free reset and I would have to spend like 200 lunari so personally I just don't touch this for the sake of maybe I want to change something or test something and it wouldn't really cost me lunari and then we have armory power now this one is a new feature which you in a sense could potentially uh, use for uh, adjusting some of your current power as you can see here. So I had unequipped my stuff and I think this added like 25 to 30,000 but what you can do as well is go into slots and literally remove majority of these tones and as you can see the power kind of dissipates and that's like 20,000 power I have what nine gears so I could effectively remove about another close to 200,000 uh, power however not really advised it, 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 it it's gonna really take you so much time to just keep redoing that stuff and honestly i want to save time instead of like redo this stuff for hours and hours so basically just do a, a few bits here and there in, in terms of this and don't really uh you know want to get a headache from just redoing everything or forgetting or whatever uh, the i guess decision is there you can do it but personally i wouldn't really do it myself building we can't really do anything there research we can keep research until the event pops up and then it's some power but it's not really that high or that important and then of course we have temple now what uh, i did whenever i was uh i guess i had like plus fives and plus sixes I just went again and I took pictures which one of these I had leveled before even if there's like little we have like a a huge amount of features to keep track of so I don't really remember which ones I had leveled or whatever so if you would be resetting and you have like different levels set up take pictures it's not gonna cost you anything and likely you're not gonna have any issues when rebuilding and it will actually reduce time than you trying to figure out what you had before so i would advise that uh, for majority of the people then we have chakra power now that one self-explanatory uh pretty easy you go into enlightenment on the troops and you just rush uh, i guess depending on what kind of or how many materials you have basically i can do three to level 20 and i think one to level seven or so at the moment and uh unlikely that i would uh, do um, a fourth to level seven i just needed that for the summoners because i had leveled the, the spider the vim the turtle whenever i was trying to con but like that will just do this 20 because it's not gonna add me any more fake core power than this one added me before so yeah that you can do uh as well of course if you really want to get a uh, fake power or fake core power or just power in general if you don't level to uh, i guess level 20 and you just split them uh, evenly across the three you may not even be using uh, so for example i level 20 uh, warriors 20 mages or warlocks and then i split the leftovers in terms of these three it would add more current power as well as it would add fake core power and what i mean by fake core power this number will rise but you wouldn't really rise in your combat power or strength or whatever so you need to be careful because there's of course people at like this core power who just get completely flawless because they did something like that which i just mentioned so you shouldn't really do that it's not really suggested but if you're just going for this event and you don't really care for pvp like the option is still there then we have troop equipment so this one also pretty easy you have something like this you have to manually unequip uh, 20 gears across all of your army 
and then you have to put it on so basically i have to keep track of some of these which have buffs some of these which haven't and excuse me uh i have a couple of them upgraded above 40 um the stop is 35 and why is the stop 35 because you have a, a seven uh, star rather improves the tank damage by a percent um, for all its troops. So uh, if you have like uh, scorpions, 35, spider, summoner, 35, then you don't upgrade further. It will still buff your lich warriors, your warlocks and stuff like that. And the same for any other race. However, I've upgraded them a bit further and I was able to reach rank 2 in a power prize fight event by like 5,000 points before. So yes, it added some fake core power to my account or whatever. However, I got like 1,000 denarii. And I still would take it as a win. Because I don't really care about my core power. I just care about getting more denarii uh, in terms of the event. Again, uh, if you upgrade too much fake core power, you will reach a high amount uh, of core power but if you don't upgrade your combat capabilities you're gonna be uh, quite weak and i don't know uh, quite a few people may make fun of you if you do not perform uh, good so do keep that in mind that uh, the possibilities of such things happening are there the other thing is a spirit beast so that one is pretty simple you have a pretty huge pet like this you just deploy a very weak one prior to the event and during the event you deploy your main one easy a three and a half million power right there then uh you have stele which i spoke about the relic power thing uh it can't really control um as much as unless you had a very weak set from long time ago with something not upgraded like a hundred thousand power or the first tree and during the time you upgraded the other four or whatever you didn't touch it so then you can reduce like four hundred thousand or whatever but this really really requires you to not have touched that set for quite a long time then we have covenant and Covenant, uh, again, uh, you have to manually unequip everything and then you have to manually equip everything. So the only other thing which I would advise people is to save your bronze troop equipment. Uh, I did require to use it and smelt it so I don't have any bronze uh, equipment or other Covenant stuff left. Basically, I had this on three other troops, so 12 gears, 12, let's say, uh, multiplied by this, that's like 360 bronze troops or something like that, or maybe 400, it really depends, and then you get more silver troops and more golden troops, so that could essentially amount to more power in terms of this event if you so chose to, but I kind of smelted those... Uh, accidentally i think or i was just leveling some gears and i required a few hundred points so i don't have those at the moment but the possibility is also there and then comes recruiting your army so as far as i have done uh i don't really want to waste a lot of my uh, army rushes for this event i know i'm not gonna win this and like I'm not gonna win uh, a couple of, or rather the very next one. But what you can do, and I think the best conversion is, you can still do your own calculations and stuff like that, because every army has its own values for a bronze troop or whatever. You can recruit the priestesses, uh, and as you can see, you don't really require that if you have the patrons. And uh, the silver one does require at least four minutes. So you can recruit them. And then you swap to dwarf. And you're gonna turn them into the tanks. Now tanks, why them? So let's see. <clears throat> so one tank has 4,600 power, right? So if we divide this value by 15... You get about, what, 300 power per, per one bronze, right? So if we go to, let's say, this one, right? 
So if we divide this by 2, that will be 250, right? So we have a difference of about 50 uh, current power per one bronze troop value. So if we have this at 10,000, because I do believe I have this at 10,000 with my bronze set and whatever, after I uh, rather upgrade stuff, uh, one bronze value, 50... Uh, that's going to be, I think, about like, um, I don't know, 500,000 current power just from this. Uh, yeah, so that's a half of a million points right there that you could potentially have. So let's check the silver because I think it raises by a lot more. So this one is basically 1,000 uh, current power for one uh, silver capacity. And let's see, this one. So this is 750, so 250 now. Though do keep in mind, I think what I've done very long time ago, and I do mean long time ago, I was quite good into math and I calculated like the values of recruiting these and then converting it to a skeleton. So basically I used, I think like... 60 70 percent of stuff in terms of like uh, tanks and then i had an exact value of these um engineers to then turn them into skeletons or whatever and it over capped and still provided more power i'm not sure if that is still the thing but that is also there and it's somewhere around the same powers or whatever as it would be this i think i'm not entirely sure don't really comment me on that, but I think long time ago did something like that, and it also ended up helping out. Though, do keep in mind, it's gonna require you to uh, recruit the priestesses, at least for bronze, and then it would require you to, uh, I guess, uh, recruit silver priestesses as well and waste your uh, troop rushes. So that is for you to decide there whether or not you want to do it that way. Usually, if I know I'm not going to win the event, I just go somewhere like, I don't know, Rakan, and I just recruit uh, silver or bronze troops in terms of this race, and then I just convert them to engineers and re-recruit them after that, because as you can see, they don't really take any troop rush if I do it by one. Now, I'm not going to explain... Um, in the version of how I do it, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, say any of those things because might get me into trouble perhaps or not. But sometimes I manually recruit them, sometimes uh, someone helps me out. So, you know, uh, have to, you know, say that. But hey, maybe one day you guys are gonna figure it out. So, that aside, I do believe that is pretty much it. There is nothing left to cover. And honestly, I'm not just gonna do a one-hour video just uh, for you to see what I'm doing, what I'm re-upgrading and stuff like that. Basically, just wanted to cover majority of the features, what you can do, what you have to do. And some tips here and there, which perhaps might win you the power event on your server. Uh, if I did miss something, do let me know in the comments down below. And if this video helped you out, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.